What have you to wake up to? Today just got really exciting because I was supposed to go back to Lalan tonight to see some guests and instead Billy and Gwendolyn have invited them to stay here tonight and come to the party. Which I thought I wouldn't be able to stay for. So I will go to the ball and I'm still able to meet Nathan and Michael. Nathan and Michael got married at Dick and Angel's Chateau and we met on the Escape to the Chateau DIY fan page on Facebook. We've been chatting for ages but we've never actually met in person so it's an exciting day. But first, all of these intriguing objects in my room alone have given me the desire to go and explore other parts of the chateau. So now we're leaving the almost decorated parts of the house. This corridor just needs a tiny bit of finishing. And we're going up to the undecorated floor above. Show me around, I want to see everything. I just love it. Well, up here is the, um, is the wing of the chateau that hasn't really had anything done to it yet. It's still still as it was. So look in here. Okay, you serious? This is what you call junk? Right, well, it's just, it's not being used. Oh my God. Well, look at the beds as well. Look at the sofa. And is that a doll's bed? Yeah, it is. It's a good size for a dog. What? <laughs> What's that look? Have you seen John Fowler's dog beds? No. Okay, they just look like my Lia La Polonaise at La Lamba in miniature. Do you think we could turn that into one? Yeah, I think you're thinking what I'm thinking. It needs metal strips to yeah. come up and then it right. needs a dome on top. Do you think you can do it? Yeah. Because I can definitely do the curtains. Oh, we need some fabric though. We've got an amazing collection of old fabrics in another room. Do you want to have a look? That sounds like my heaven. Take me, take me okay, to your sorry. fabric. Let's go and look at the fabrics. I think it's all in here. Oh, more amazing stuff. Yes, piles of fabric. We old found pens. the mother ship of silk. fabric. Lots of golds, pinks. Oh, I can't believe you just have this lying around in the attic here. Do you think we can use this for the bed? Yes, 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 yes. Look, look at this. That's oh, nice. it's perfect. No, that's absolutely perfect as the lining. Yeah, that's a nice actually. All set. Yeah? Chandelier. You are kidding. You just have basically crowns lying around. Do, do they not have like something like that on the top? That would be amazing on top. We'd love to get on with the bed now, but we need emergency clothes for the party. Where are we going? We're going to go to Wren today. There's good shopping, good food. Well, you need a dress as a party tonight and you've got <gasps> nothing to wear. I didn't bring one. I didn't expect to be going. Wren is the capital city of Brittany. Flowers in the park. Where are you? Pansies. Welcome to Wren. I love Wren. <laughs> can we find some food? Because I am super yes, let's go to a restaurant. So you have the the opera house, which is here, which has got a bay front, and you have this building opposite it, and it's got a concave front, so that if you put the two buildings together, they would fit together. And actually, that was seen as quite quite shocking when it was revealed. Ooh, naughty! When it was first built, it's really naughty, isn't it? <laughs> Michael, are you aware it's lunchtime? No, no, it's not lunchtime, it's two o'clock. Well, we're here for lunch. We're, we're here for enjoyment. Do you want to talk me through what you're stirring right now? This is an old fashioned. <laughs> you're Contains having a whiskey bourbon, cocktail. Angostura bitters, uh, Perrier, sparkling water, uh, a brown sugar, and um, an orange slice. Fish and chips times two. What with your old fashioned and everything? Quite a healthy meal we're having today. Oh, yeah, look, we've got this healthy look that there's fruit, there's fruit there. We need to get we, our we need, strength we up. We need our strength, yes. We really need our strength to party. <laughs> what are we here for, Michael? Well, we need a suit because there's a party tonight and I've got nothing smart to wear. And I need an emergency dress. Yeah, we're going to get both of those in there. So that's what we're going to look like tonight red and yellow. Oh, I like it. Time to get ready. I'm so excited to meet you. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that we're meeting at a different chateau than the I one know, that we're we supposed isn't it? to meet us. So me and Michael designed this gift for you. So it was based on a photograph that we found of the chateau and above the chateau was all the stars. We had it made into a scarf and it's silk. No, you really um, had a scarf printed? Yeah. I think this is one of the most thoughtful gifts I've ever received because now when I'm far away from La Land, I can still wear the stars of its night sky with me all the time. Nathan is going to help me with my hair. <laughs> Turn on, Steph. 
I found another hairdresser. I'm blessed with hairdressers in my life. Fantastic news, because it means I have time to get ready tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You're off the hook. That seems wrong somehow. You look, you look quite good. I like this. Yeah. Time for the unveiling of our new look, which Michael and I like to call rhubarb and custard. I don't see why I have to be the custard. <laughs> Thank you. Let me show you a few uh, antiquities. There's a jewellery box. A big, big jewellery box with no jewellery. But silverware. <gasps> this is a solid silver gilt tea set. Sugar tongs with lion feet. And you have a tea strainer. Because <gasps> that, that slots into the spout of the teapot. And as you pour it, it pours through there. I don't think I've ever seen someone so excited about a tea strainer. I do love tea. What are you and the bus stop is at you about to show us? We're about to show you a most beautiful safe. Oh, um, I love the fact that you're showing me your safe in the middle of the night. Is that safe? Yes, it's very safe. <laughs> Normal moulding. There we go. No. No. Wow, oh. the thickness of the door. There we go. This was mine. I gave it to my mother in France. I said, keep it, keep it safe. And I'll probably want it back in a few years, you know. So she gave it to my brother for Christmas. <laughs> it's his now. I can't deny him his Christmas present. <laughs> Where are you going in the middle of the night? Um, I, I've got to put the chickens in. Well, that is the reality of Chateau Life. Yeah. Come back and make another old fashioned. Oh, cheers to that. Take a look around the room. Yes, I love the old mirror. Yeah. Where you can see all of that boxing. Over yeah, the it's very nice. This is a beautiful room. Show us more bits of it. Here we have a, a black marble fireplace. <laughs> look at all the. You've got the bees here, everywhere. It's beautiful. That is stunning. You may think this is just a little walking stick, but hidden inside, you may find a sword. <gasps> Oh yeah, I dump the Dame Stephanie Jarvis. So Steph, are you tired? I am tired. I can't believe you're tired. It's gone midnight. My beautiful shoes are going to turn back into snakes. They've got to run up. Oh, I love my room. I've got to get the electric blanket on. The electric blanket is the second best thing in this room after the bed itself. It's so warm. Yeah. I had a really fantastic night. I see a little bit of piano playing, a little bit of Irish jig. It's piano playing, dancing, singing, mainly the eating of sandwiches. You had a lot of beige uh, sandwiches. I had 12 beige sandwiches. <laughs> they were so delicious, I couldn't stop. Come in. Morning, lovely. Oh, somebody's behind the curtain, I can't see who. <laughs> It's tea time. Yeah! I thought it was just the most amazing evening with the most amazing people and the music was just incredible. Your husband's violin playing was a highlight for it me. It was just totally amazing. It's getting exciting in here today. Come in, come in. I'm getting so many visitors. This is marvellous. Yes. Stephanie, we need to get you out of bed because I have a project for us to do today. I've ordered some ostrich feathers which are coming in the post today. I've got a little feather pillow that can be the mattress. And I've got this little uh, little bolster cushion that we can sort of cut in half and make into two little ones, one for either end. We get to do this today. Great. So you just need to get out of bed now. Oh, I knew there'd be a catch. <laughs> I just tried to brush last night's curls out. I think it's gonna be a big hair day. Welcome to our workshop. 
<laughs> not bad, is it? A ballroom. <laughs> so I'm going to be working on cutting it in half and covering it in the right fabric. So we have a little cushion at each side. Oh gosh, I'm about to make an epic mess of feathers. Well, Steph, what are you doing? Do you think Billy wants his entire chateau filled with feathers? That, that's a good look, right? I mean, anyone would want that. Um, I don't think he will. Okay, I'm going to try and pin kind of as I go along. This is the moment of truth. So I've half pinned on the tops. This is going to work. Actually, that's not bad. I think this it's might just work. half of an old chicken there, by the looks of it. Did I mention that I'm allergic to dust? Uh-oh. You look cosy. I am cosy. What a beautiful way of spending a lovely afternoon. Right, my two little bosses are finished. Let's go and see how Michael's getting on. Oh, I love the colour, Michael. It's going to be just like the one at La Lande. It's a hive of industry in here. Whilst I construct the world's most over-engineered bolster cushion. Someone's getting excited. So you're just at the stage of pinning now? Yeah, it's not quite there yet, but that's got to be repinned so that it meets perfectly. Do you think we're really weird, Michael? That we could just have spent the day happily sitting around chatting and we're making a dog bed. I think we're insane. <laughs> Definitely a bit enough more than we can chew, but I'm sure we'll manage to make it look good. Oh, I love this. Look. <gasps> oh, sir. You've made the little cross pieces. Yep, little slats just so that the old pillow has somewhere to sit. See if it works. Okay, my beautiful handiwork. So cute. Well, the first test seems to be going very successfully. Do you like it, Titi? Nice bed. Um, it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> it doesn't actually look very easy, believe it or not. But I think we're getting there. We're making quite a mess of the ballroom. Can you show me a flash of lining, please? <gasps> Tina is going to be the greatest seductress of all dogs in that bed. There you go, Michael, the final curtain drop is done. It's still working. We're doing midnight bolstering and this is the last bolster for the bed. Yeah. I'm exhausted from bolstering, but before I go to sleep, I want to tell you about this amazing trunk by my bed. Just below the magnificent lock, you can see a version of the Royal Arms of France. Here is the crown of France, the fleur de lis, and the inner necklace is the colour of the Order of St. Michael, and the outer one is the colour of the Order of the Holy Spirit, which was established in 1578. And it's believed that it was probably part of the royal baggage train of the kings of France. So as they traveled between their different estates, everything would have been stored into a whole series of chests like this that would have traveled with them. It is one of the most magnificent pieces of luggage I have ever seen. Louis Vuitton, eat your heart out. <laughs> Excellent spot for morning tea. Now let's go and see our finished bed in the daylight. You happy with that? It's ridiculous. It is the most ridiculous thing we have ever done. Ta da! Should we see if the dog likes it? Yes! Oh, I can find it. I think it's a work of genius if, if I say so myself. It looks quite realistic. I know, it's a proper miniature Liela Polonaise. It looks just like mine. Actually, it's slightly nicer than mine because it's got more ostrich feathers. Well, I must say it looks pretty perfect in a chateau. She is very regal. She suits it. She's actually started to defend the bed now. 